The story of Guideliner is kind of the story of innovation. So back in 2009, the Guideliner was the first guide extension catheter introduced into the market. The unmet clinical need was for a guide catheter extension that provided backup where it was needed most. We recognized that there was a need for a product that really allowed physicians to deliver more gear into more complex lesions through tighter vessels or tortuosity and further distal into the anatomy. One of the things that the guide liner was designed to do was to provide stability and support for the guide catheter to provide additional backup and allow you a solid basis of operations from which to conduct your procedure. With the invention of the guide liner, it gave us the ability to place a guide catheter distal shaft into the coronary vasculature, which alleviated delivery issues. Once physicians got their hands on it and started to see what the clinical utility was and how many applications they could use this catheter for, it started to become the go-to catheter because it gives you that confidence and that stability as a basis of operations. You can continue to focus on delivering your devices where they need to go. And that really pushed us to continue to innovate that design. So we went from a simple metal collar design to a simple polymer collar design to what is now our current Guideliner V3 that features a half pipe that really does help with device delivery interactions. It really helps align those devices and get those delivered easier into the Guideliner V3 and into that distal anatomy. The half pipe design on the Guideliner V3 catheter represents our commitment to continuous improvement and continuous engineering and innovation on our products. The engineering process is almost always the art of compromise. How feature rich do we make the device versus how simple and how small, how low profile, um, and that kind of gets back to the flexibility, deliverability, pushability of the Guideliner catheter. You can put an extremely lubricious hydrophilic coating on a Guideliner catheter and it delivers amazingly. But the problem is you have no backup support and it really comes down to laws of motion and physics. And so we really had to compromise and find a coating that allowed the catheter to deliver into that distal anatomy, but then also provided the backup support. The silicone coating provides enough lubricity for uh, movement, but it also allows the device to stay put in the guide when you want it to stay put. Our bench tests show an 18 to 46% increase in Guideliner V3 catheter backup support compared to competitive guide catheters with fully hydrophilic coated guide extensions. If you look at metal support options for catheters, you're kind of left with two viable options and that's realistically a coil reinforced design or a braid reinforced design. We decided for the Guideliner that the choice was obvious to go with a coil. We came to the conclusion right away that a braided design um, does not hold its shape very well. In our bench testing, around a seven and a half millimeter bend, uh, a braided guide extension catheter construction will give up 10% of its diameter versus the coiled guide extension catheter does not give up any of its diameter. Our testing also found that the stiffer distal shaft of a competitive coiled guide extension catheter will give up 7% of its diameter versus the Guideliner V3 catheter's coiled distal shaft, which does not give up any of its diameter. In the coronary anatomy, you were delivering the collar up and over the aortic arch. And so we realized that if we could move that collar back to a straighter section of, of the aorta, that you were gonna have better luck delivering that device. What that does is reduces the wire wrap of the wire within the guide catheter into the guide extension. Um, it reduces the interactions of interventional devices with the collar of the guide extension. The Guideliner V3 catheter features a 17 centimeter polymer bond between the extension and the push wire to minimize device separation. You know, we've sold over half a million Guideliner V3 catheters and we've yet to have a collar separation in coronary PCI. When we talk about effective ID, what we're really talking about is what's the smallest point from the hemostasis valve all the way to the distal tip of the guide catheter. And in most guide extension catheters, the smallest area is in the guide catheter with the push rod. So when we were looking at the guide liner catheter, we decided we wanted to use a rectangular shaped ribbon wire. What that gets us is additional space within the guide catheter to, to deliver interventional devices. It allows you to deliver more gear, um, larger gear, through your guide catheter, through the guide extension, and to the target lesion. We're 56 thousandths from the moment you enter the guide catheter to the moment you exit the distal tip. When you look at some of our competitors, they chose to do a round push rod. They're giving up you know, five to six thousandths in that guide catheter. The design differences can seem small. In the end, that makes a huge difference on whether or not your case is successful.
five or six thousandths in effective ID. That's a big number. When you're talking about backup support, 18 to 46 percent more backup support with a Guideliner is a huge number. In the last 10 years, across the generations of Guideliner catheters, we've sold more than a million catheters worldwide, and we've solidified our place as a market leader in guide extension. And I think in the last 10 years, we've seen a tremendous shift in the complexity of cases that are able to be treated due to the technology of Guideliner, whether those are you know, longer lesions, more tortuous lesions, more calcium, uh, you know, the Guideliner is really a necessary tool for those. It represents a commitment to solving unmet clinical needs. That's really what we've done with the Guideliner catheter is, is created a solution and created a market. We understand the clinical impacts and the procedural impacts of guide extension, and we've continued to improve our catheter to make sure that we address those issues. Physicians choose Guideliner on a daily basis because they just know that when they pull a Guideliner, it's going to work.